Bing Bong Chinese Chinese Bing Bong using AI Chinese AI Looking great, we're using Chinese AI Looking perfect Working on perfect Chinese AI Using perfect, flawless Chinese AI Yeah To give each other, uh, to give us bigger dicks Yeah <laughs> <laughs> using AI to make my <laughs> dick bigger. Yeah, sending sending nudes to each other <laughs> and then AIing them bigger and being like, "Nice, bro." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do send nudes to each other all the time. <laughs> We're constantly sending <laughs> naked photos to each other. Yeah, AI enhanced nudes. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, check this out, bro. That's a picture of me with my dick down to my <laughs> knees. <laughs> That's the future of AI. Is and like then you, you usually respond real. <laughs> <laughs> I, hit, I hit you with a real all the time. I go, damn, so real. Yeah. <laughs> real is one of the best things to comment on anything. It's true. If you comment, re- like, fellas, leave a co- comment real under this episode. Yeah, to let us know that you listened 35 seconds in. Yeah, let us know that you, you, you also think it's real. Real. Yeah, because it's a, it's a good thing to comment. Real. It is, yeah. <laughs> I, real. I feel nice when I see a post that's real. <laughs> and I look at the co- comments and it's all guys like, damn, real. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of the new literally me. Yeah. I feel like it's always been there, but it's literally me is too verbose. Yeah. So you just hit him with a real. And real's more like shocking and innovative. It's more transgressive <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, more transgressive. <laughs> we are the. You know, in this age where nothing is real. Real. That's the one way you can uh, take back your agency. Yeah, is to, it's to, to say, say real. Real on AI images. <laughs> Damn real. <laughs> <laughs> seeing a seeing an AI picture of uh, Stephen Hawking getting sucked off by a child. Yeah. Real. Real. Damn real. <laughs> <laughs> We're making custom Obama gay porn <laughs> in AI, and then using a different account to comment real on it a bunch of times. <laughs> <laughs> commenting on your own <laughs> post damn real <laughs> that's so real yeah. using a fake uh, YouTube account to comment real <laughs> on your unpopular <laughs> podcast <laughs> to boost yeah. algorithmic engagement yeah real leave a comment and say that, let us know that you're real yeah <coughs> or if you're if you're not real and you're a Bangladeshi bot leave a comment that says um, this video was so touching heart <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like 15 emojis. <laughs> yeah. And like a bunch of commas. <laughs> yeah. And like emojis, like ASCII smiley faces. I have enjoyed you, sirs, for many years. <laughs> and then two lines of comments <laughs> or of emojis. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I, ha- I thought about a cool shirt Yeah. for us. It says, uh, it would be like big black text white shirt. It says, yeah, I'm a soy lineal weed dad. <laughs> so what? <laughs> <laughs> so what? And then a picture of like a That's that's really good. Yeah. So that's what really about good. that? I'm a soy lineal weed dad. Yeah, we gotta <coughs> we gotta get on that. On um, being a soy lineal weed dad? Yeah. Be a couple soy lineal weed dads. <laughs> Cause would that be a guy who grows weed but calls them his children or a guy who has kids but still smokes weed? He has ki- has kids and only smokes off like a pen. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Fat. I'm actually maybe I might say it for the Patreon, but I'm gonna for a, in a Chrome Boys first smoke weed live on air. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> as a sort of social experiment <laughs> <laughs> to see if the pot is better. Yeah, well, it's just I are, usually I don't smoke weed before we record. Yeah, so I can be like you know fresh and engaged. You can be real. But I already did today. Nice. And I'm kind of burning out. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to smoke some more. <laughs> <Gonna have to. laughs> Sorry, guys. I have to smoke weed right now. <laughs> That's like a social experiment. Yeah. Like, what happens if you try and podcast on weed? <laughs> Has yeah, anyone title, tried this before? Title the episode <laughs> "Podcasting on Weed." <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be social for the experiment. for the Patreon, though. Yeah, you gotta fork up some bucks to see what happens when you smoke weed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys for don't want to so see when I smoke weed. Yeah, I mean, science. Uh, yeah, y- we we need more funding for science. For what wha- what happens when you podcast <laughs> on weed? <laughs> We're podcasting on weed. Podcasting right? on weed, bro. <laughs> so we're gonna see. I'm being a I'm being a dad on weed right now, yeah, bro. In about fifty five minutes, <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna find out what that's like. <sighs> yeah, imagine so being a dad on weed. <laughs> imagine having a cool weed dad. <laughs> imagine how cool you would be for sure. With like definitely a dad, because like most dads are kind of like uptight, office yeah. worker, drones, conformist drones. Yeah, yeah tucked in but shirt, Dilbert guys. <laughs> <laughs> most dads are Dilbert guys. <laughs> but imagine having a dad who smoked weed and played Switch. 
<laughs> I was just about to say. <laughs> like, because uh, I've been playing on my Switch, playing Final Fantasy. You're VII. halfway. You're a third of the way there. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't instantly go non-verbal every time I smoked a little bit of weed, <laughs> I would be a weed. If I didn't instantly just sit like this. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes for <laughs> one time in the future for our transgressive art podcast, <laughs> we should have an episode where we both just get really high and go nonverbal for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> that would be in character. <laughs> no, it's just us, like, <laughs> just slowly have panic attacks. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I got high, I got like way too high, and I convinced myself that I had schizophrenia. Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't like it at all. Like you were hearing voices N- well what happened like i was like laying in bed like just trying to fucking chill out yeah and this is why i loved drinking more than i liked than i like smoking weed because mm-hmm. when you're too drunk you can just pass out and then it literally all goes away and then you wake up and you feel wonderful uh okay <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> or it's like sure. we, you can at least like pass out and not have to deal with it yeah you feel a different type of thing yes the next day yes you're, but you're <coughs> the the body is tired but the mind is willing the mind is free and clear yeah but when you smoke when you get too high you just sit there yeah like i can't sleep so i was sitting there and i was like i had like i I like every time i closed my eyes it was like i like stepped back from my own thoughts and i could watch Uh, them like converging on each other yeah and i was like oh it happened I'm, I That's got it. I got to <laughs> <laughs> and then I was sitting there like I was just laying in bed like how am I going to tell other people in my life that I'm schizophrenic because <laughs> I smoked weed once <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then I woke up and I was like oh that was crazy <laughs> I mean honestly I feel like that same scenario has ruined like 30% of your generation Yes. If they smoke weed and they scroll TikTok and suddenly they have disassociative identity disorder. See, that's the <laughs> thing. I was laying in perfect <laughs> darkness. <laughs> no stimulus. Yeah, but imagine if you were watching mental illness self-diagnosis TikToks. I probably would be done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It'd be over for me right now if yeah. I had been exposed to that in that state. Yeah. I would have I would have got some long uh, overwrought email about how you can't <laughs> do the show anymore because you have schizophrenia. <laughs> I have schizophrenia as well as... um. I have a- re- various rectal diseases. Yeah. And uh, aches, I have aches, AIDS. fibro. Yeah. I can't do the pot. I found out I have fibro. <laughs> yeah, I have fibro and chronic fatigue. <laughs> 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 chronic fatigue people are wild. Isn't that it? like everybody? Like mm. I'm always a little tired. Well, it seems to be like a specific group of people who are mostly women <laughs> <laughs> who have chronic fatigue mm-hmm. and also want like they seem to be like uniquely among like disease people yeah that they feel like everyone else should be forced to be bedridden <laughs> because they are <laughs> like, yeah. right because there's a whole thing going around on 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 x because some like i don't know communist person was like a fascist worked out today did you what that, like you have to work out to fight bash the fash but then the the comments were just hundreds of people being like, oh, so you hate disabled people? <laughs> like, actually, because of my illness, if I work out, I'll die. <laughs> There's just never been a disease where if you get no. healthier, your disease gets worse. Y- yeah. That's just not how yeah. diseases work. Well, and it's crazy. No one had ever told me before. But the last few days, I've been, like, exercising. Yeah. And, like, eating healthy. Yeah. And, like, um, minding my personal hygiene. <laughs> And I feel great. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why did nobody... T- I'm 45 years old. No one had told me that before. <laughs> it really, like, eliminates most of your problems. Yeah. As soon as you do... Doctors, psychologists hate these three simple steps. <laughs> yeah. If you just... Yeah. Like, don't... I've been doing the opposite. I've been eating, like, especially shitty and, like, sleeping bad. Well, I had a... Pu- I was doing <coughs> that, but I, I stepped on a scale recently <laughs> and realized I'm the same weight as Donald Trump. <laughs> but six inches shorter. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like, all right, <laughs> all right, let's uh, turn the ship around. <laughs> <laughs> correct. <laughs> Some corrective steering. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gonna start <laughs> doing sit ups. Just walk to the fridge and eat raw <laughs> celery as soon as you get off the scale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. I've been doing the opposite, and I feel like shit. But you really do feel good. Yeah. If you like exercise you just go for like a walk eat eat like food i mean honestly i think if you exercise you can eat like shit still yeah but just getting exercise will make you feel good yeah yeah <laughs> honestly <laughs> work crazy. work construction for a little bit 
like people who are like bedridden. Yeah. Go be like a <laughs> like a framer. Yeah. Doing shit, just having to like walk. You you like mentally you're like I hate being here. This sucks. But like once you get home, you're like in a great mood. Well, what you can do is you can get an exercise ball mm -hmm. and a desk that has a little like thing that sticks out, mm -hmm. and then you can sit at your computer and do sit-ups. <laughs> <laughs> at your computer. <laughs> so you can still look at breast on computer. So you can look, still look at breast on computer while doing one sit-up every <laughs> nine minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's and it works. I'm going to have a six-pack the next time you see me. I'm probably going to go to the office. I'm going to probably be bed. I'm going to be like <laughs> Skyping in for the next one, bedridden, <laughs> IV tube, and like boop, <laughs> boop, <laughs> boop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in a body cast <laughs> for chronic fatigue. I'm in a body cast. <laughs> yeah, in an iron lung, <laughs> an iron lung wield in here because you're so chronically fatigued. Because <laughs> of my, it's for my BPD. Yeah, the iron lung is for my BPD. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's for my BPD and my bipolar. <clears throat> oh, actually, I, I th hmm, I'll see. I was gonna save it for the um, Patreon one. Mm -hmm. But uh, women with mental illnesses have been having a rough week. What's wrong? And they've been writing articles. About? Ab about them having rough weeks. Really? Yeah. They're, so they're... You know what they're like doing paid that? journalists who are <laughs> writing articles about them having a rough week? Um, yeah. I mean, they well, there's the articles have been coming out this week. Uh-huh. But um, <laughs> they've been having a rough longer, longer than that. I'm sorry I brought you a Diet Pepsi. I didn't realize you were turning your life around. Is this going to cause a relapse? It's diet. I totally <laughs> forgot. Yeah, it's, it's totally good. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all good. It's diet. Okay, but no, there's I've I've never oh read anything God. on this this site before, but uh, the cut. The cut. And I think <laughs> it's like a mag it's like a magazine or something. Okay. I've I've never read it before, but okay. it had two really funny articles yeah. about women really fucking up. What happened? Okay, the first one. <laughs> a little palate cleanser. <sighs> which I haven't actually read yet, but I got the gist of. Um, it's the woman who's their, like, financial advice columnist. Okay. Um, but she got <laughs> <who laughs> accidentally put $50,000 in cash in a shoebox and gave it to some guy because a phone scam told her that the CIA was pissed at her. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that, that article I haven't had time to read yet. Well, I think you got but it. But I think I got the gist. I think you got what's going on. But the other one, which was kind of going viral the last couple days, um, like I first saw it because basically it's a woman, the two main characters here, there's a woman and her husband, Okay. Emily and Keith. Awesome. And Keith retweeted a post by Emily um, saying, like said, she wrote an article about them almost getting divorced. And it was sort of like... You all, oh, read this beautiful essay that my wife wrote about how she was going to divorce me, but she didn't because I was so good at taking out the recycling. Men, take out the recycling. Oh, my God. Um, so, I, by the way, you, I don't need to read the article now. <laughs> you gave me the tip. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's wild that she wrote this because it, it's basically um, they're both writers. Good. And a fun couple. And yeah, and Keith is a more successful writer oh. than she. Hmm. Um, but she basically wrote this whole article about how she um, like started drinking all day, every day, <laughs> and um, like not and wasting all of their money, <laughs> spending all of their money on bullshit. And she almost left him. And then she did leave him. And then, in the process of leaving him, cheated on him. Oh. And then confined herself to a psych ward for, um, like, a month. And then they came back, and now they're she decided to stay with him, but now, even though he makes all the money, she doesn't cook or do any housework. <laughs> <laughs> and this and is Keith's fault? <laughs> yeah. And it's, oh, where is this line? It was sort of like she had a line like, Keith had to forgive me for cheating on him and wasting all of our money. <laughs> I had to forgive him for, like, making me feel bad that he was more <laughs> successful than I am. <laughs> oh, my God. It's just like, <laughs> Keith, Jesus, hey, Keith. lady. <laughs> Keith. Get a Taiwanese boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a Taiwanese boy would never be like that. Okay, <laughs> Keith, buy someone from the Ukraine. They would never do this to you. Keith, take a trip to Russia. Find yourself a real mean bitch. 
<laughs> she would never do this to you, Keith. If you're successful, they would never do that to you. Yeah. Well, Keith, find yourself successful, relatively speaking, to her. Right. <laughs> right. Well, if you're writing articles like that. Yeah, it's you, it's brutal, and it's like so long. You know what? You know how we used to we used to talk about like where did the office jobs go for big fucking idiots? Mm-hmm. Found it. Yeah. It's for like weird, um, like women's journals online. Yeah, they're writing articles in the cut. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm. I don't know if this, <clears throat> if this magazine is always like this, but if it is, just women writing um, <laughs> essays about them fucking up <laughs> like <laughs> I'm, I'm there <laughs> i might read <laughs> i might start reading I might, the cut. A, I might get a sub to this shit i would like the printed <sighs> versions it includes uh <clears throat> the cut printed edition comes with um photo shoots of uh they remake norman mailer paintings in real life okay here i found <clears throat> this was with black people my husband would have to forgive me for cheating and wasting our money <laughs> i would have to forgive him for treading on my literary territory Oh my <laughs> God. Keith, buddy, if the fact that she said that, uh, Keith, if if look, Keith, I don't know if you <laughs> here. Here's the uh, relationship advice segment. Mm-hmm. Keith, I've seen seen what's going on. Yeah, uh, we saw what your wife said. Mm-hmm. Keith, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you to go home, open up Google, and type in. Chris Benoit. <laughs> Chris ben- the Chris Benoit method. <laughs> the yeah. Benoit method of divorce. Some people are calling it a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Others are calling it pre- precursor to homicide. Yeah. A relationship. Yeah. That's, that's what some people online are calling it. <laughs> Chris, I'm going to need you to look up. Uh, Keith? <laughs> Keith, I have some bad news. You're in a relationship, my man. <laughs> <laughs> the way to get out? Chris Benoit. <laughs> Google. <laughs> Chris, Chris Benoit. <laughs> <laughs> if my buddy was like texting me this, I would just send him back like a news article about what Chris Benoit did. <clears throat> and be like, huh. Yeah, huh. It's, and it's like, yeah, my wife cheated on me, but now to get her back, I have to come home from work and do the cooking when she's been sitting around all day. Drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking. <laughs> what? And now this, look, because I've had Cobes on the mind all week. Maybe the, yeah. maybe the poontang is that good. That must That must be it. Maybe she does a special little thing. Yeah. She does a special little thing that he can get out of I life. haven't. I've been too uh, busy. Oh, I haven't. Um, <laughs> to keep up with Cobes. Do you want to do a little quick Cobes update here? <sighs> He's in love, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I've been. Cause Cause I've I, I watched a bit of, I want to say it was day three or possibly four. Mm-hmm. And frankly, it seemed like things were going pretty good. Yeah. Well, <coughs> they are. Except that damn that bitch annoying. Yeah. <laughs> it seemed like Cobes was okay with it, yeah. but she was mad annoying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been like doing a lot of road gigs lately, so I've had a lot of time to be like keeping up with Cobes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, basically the gist is that I mean, she's she's got the boys concerned. I was watching a clip today where it, it's honestly she started so her her YouTube channel got banned. Why for her nudity? Show, I show believe. Her tits? Yeah, I believe so. Um, so, well, Cobes was, like, at seemingly, like, 2 p.m., Cobes was passed out in his chair. Right. Classic. Yeah. And uh, she just started up a stream on his channel while he's passed out and was, like, being kind of quiet. Yeah. And then there was a knock at the door. The clip is crazy. The boys are saying it's... Honestly, the, the clips, the, like, sound bites that have been coming out of this era are dynamite. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> he shoots up. So she's like leaning down using the computer in front of him, which yeah. I think we established in the last episode. He does not like when he uses her computer, when she uses his computer. No. <coughs> I mean, that's normal. Oh, yeah. That's real. Oh, yeah. He's got some gothic fart clips <laughs> on there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't let your lady look at those. No. So he shoots up and then it, he, he the whole thing, he's just seemed like way out of it. No, I don't know if he's it's... He's probably be- shit-faced on <laughs> DoorDash... Um, <laughs> Sooch. <laughs> yeah. He's shit faced on fucking uh Subway sauce sandwiches. Yeah, and cat fucking, food. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he was just like he was like Ozzy Osbourne the whole stream, just like super fucked up. Yeah. But then later she was sitting on his lap. What one crumb of pee does to a <laughs> MF. <laughs> <laughs> He's overdosing on pee. Dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a clip where she's sitting on his lap yeah. and he tells her that she was like I think she was trying to be like sexy. She was like, "Josh, what does my pussy taste like?" And he, he said, 
You want to hear the verdict? Oh, yeah, definitely. Do I? And yeah, we're <laughs> all listening with bated breath. He said, tastes like Wendy's. <laughs> he said it tastes like a Wendy's. And she started like laughing and she was like, what do you mean? And he was like, I mean, it tastes delicious. And she's like, I just showered. And he's like, I know. I'm, I'm telling you, it tastes good. <laughs> like Wendy's. And then he said like burgers. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like mm, burgers. Burgers. Yeah. Damn. That's what you get with one of them fine Midwestern style bitches. <laughs> At Burgussy. Looking for a bitch with a big wet ass and a burger tasting pussy. <laughs> a pussy that tastes like Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh mm, That's really good. Yeah, he's been getting concerned. He was like he was talking to his his idiot haters. Yeah. And he was like, guys. Troll her all you want, but she's going to leave on Saturday. And then she she stumps in and she goes, I'm leaving when I'm leaving. And then the fellows oh. were like, uh-oh. <laughs> 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 oh, no. <laughs> Someone ordered mm. them a pregnancy test. Oh. but I, What I, was I, the <laughs> verdict? What's that? Was it? Was, did they do it? I think they're waiting because they're not that accurate when it's like three days. Right. And Cobra still got a bust raw <laughs> three days worth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Possibly more. <laughs> <laughs> but then some of the fellas in the comments were speculating that, like, uh, Cobes' venom ain't poisonous, if you know what I'm talking about. <sighs> the, like, a decade of, like, day drinking and McDonald's and Air Duster might, uh... Um... <laughs> might kind of... Yeah, maybe. I mean, like, just a McDonald's mm. diet, I know, is, like, pretty bad. Really? Yeah. Oh. Like, I think in Super Size Me, they were like, you're... You're just kind of sterilizing yourself. I hate Super Size Me. Yeah. Did you have to... I don't know. Were they still making you watch it like every fucking year when you were in school? Not every year, but we did have to watch it once, yeah. Because it came out... I, I was like in school right during <coughs> Super Size Me Mania. Yeah. We watched it every single year for probably five years in a row. God damn. That's fucking annoying. No one learned anything from it. They all said, shut the fuck up. The McRib is back. Yeah. No, it's anti-McDonald's <laughs> propaganda. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, like, obviously you're not supposed to eat it for every meal. Yeah. Why would you do that? Got a joyful cat playing behind us. Mm-hmm. This is, this is the merriment that we constantly talk about. Yeah, that's just the kind of mirth and merriment we bring to the table. But, yeah, I'm uh, I'm happy for Josh that he locked down a lady with a, with a burger pussy. Yeah. Wendy's burger case. <laughs> that's perfect for him. He loves Wendy's. <laughs> he fucking <laughs> loves Wendy's, too. <laughs> <laughs> He loves Wendy's. Mm, yeah, burger pussy style, bitch. <laughs> and he was like, I just love that Like in his head he was like, yeah, I'm telling you it tastes amazing. Yeah. It tastes like Wendy's. It's like, what's the best thing? <laughs> Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it's really good. It seems like they had a good Valentine's Day. Yeah, with Josh eating some mm-hmm. Wendy's, if you, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> probably took some takeout. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he fucking... In that stream where he was like sedated, he spilled his his forty of Mickey's like four times. Damn. He just kept dropping it. Do you, do you think that she's poisoning him? Is that on the table? The incel in me is like, Josh, get the <laughs> fuck out of there! Get that the bitch hell trying hell to trap there. you, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> she's just after your wands, friend. <laughs> <laughs> he he's he's got, he's so funny, man. Someone in the chat was calling her a gold digger, and she was yeah. like, I'm not a gold digger. And then Josh was like, she knows I don't have any gold, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's the man. He is. He shows it. Shout out to Shout out. Josh. Josh, young king Josh. Josh. Joshy. Joshy. So I call him Joshy. Yeah. She asked him, does it bug him? And he said, she was like, what, what should I call you? Do you mind that I call you Joshy? And he was like, no. And she was like, what should I call you? And he was like, you could call me Josh. <laughs> Josh You could just call me Josh You could just call me Josh <laughs> Or King Cobra JFS <laughs> Josh Frederick Saunders <laughs> I don't know if that's what the F stands for It's Faye Josh, Joshua Faye Saunders Wait really? Yeah Like F-A-E? F-A-Y-E Oh like like a fairy? I think it's like a southern Middle, like Southern. Josh Fay Sanders. Yeah, it's like oh, yeah, I'm Barbara Fay. Barbara Fay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ta- Tammy Fay. It is. He w- should change it to be spelled F A E, 
you know, like the Fay. You should change it like to be gnomes like and shit. F A G E. <laughs> Josh Fage. F A G. Josh F A G. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. saw a screenshot of a couple rappers who's you know how rappers are doing the like letters before their name now like N L E Choppa. Oh yeah, sh- like like the ASAP. Yeah, Rocky style. I saw a couple shit. guys yeah. that one guy was a uh, M T F Gizmo or something. M T F, which is like male to female. It's like a trans oh. thing. Oh, okay. There's oh, another guy right. that was yeah. like F T M Killa or something. Are they trans or no? No, they're just they don't know. <laughs> and I like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I think it's cool. <clears throat> It probably stands for like "fuck the money" or something like that. Something I think about, it stands for about money. female to male. No, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're just uh, they're just allies. Oh, cool. Yeah, I am. <laughs> cool. Rappers for the trans community. That's really cool. Yeah. Um. Rappers for chronic anemia. Oh, do you know? Um, <clears throat> you know, you know who? Uh, James O'Keefe. Yes. He had a really funny entrapment thing <laughs> like a week or two ago. What did he do? Um, like the day before, he posted like, listen, the one coming out tomorrow is big. And before you ask, I've already had a good life. I don't even care what happens to me. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Typically he does this shit every single yeah, time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the, then the video comes out. And it's like hidden camera, but it's like him with like bleached blonde hair and like gay guy glasses <laughs> <laughs> on like a date with a man. <laughs> and he's acting like really like flamboyant. Yeah. <laughs> As the guy tells him that Kamala Harris like isn't very popular <laughs> and that Joe Biden's old. <laughs> and I just feel like it'd be so, be so funny if he's like getting fucked by guys on grinder to un- <laughs> unearth <laughs> that <laughs> to, yeah. to learn that kamala harris is actually not very popular <laughs> like, no, joe biden is old <laughs> yeah that joe biden is old <laughs> the, the best was really he, funny the best one he ever did was when he like like accosted um that bud light trans girl I don't even know if I saw Dil- that. Dylan, he he. Did, did he like take estrogen for six months <laughs> yeah. and get a bunch of surgery and stuff yeah, to ingratiate himself? <laughs> yeah, he he tried to run into her at the women's change room at the YMCA <laughs> 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 in fucking thigh high boots <laughs> and a skirt. <laughs> yeah, and like Marge Simpson makeup gun style makeup. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, gosh. What's a lady's best friend, huh? Diamonds, am I right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, what do you think of a <laughs> big visible boner <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> under his little skirt? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, he he like found her at like a hotel while she was walking through the lobby. Yeah, and was like, was like a. She was like, women are getting raped in men's jail because they're trans. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? <laughs> and the, the butt like girl was like, what? <laughs> Dude, I make fucking TikToks. I make TikToks and had used to have a dick. I don't know what the fuck's going on in men's jail. Yeah. Why would I have anything to say about that? Yeah. And he was like, we got her ass. We got her. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, shout out James O'Keefe. He's really unearthing the shit that uh, no one else could. Joe Biden is How, old. Now, now we know. Joe Biden is that Joe old. Biden's actually really old. <laughs> and he had to wear, uh, he had to go and drag yeah. to get it. And that, um, yeah, we've learned, we've, he's unearthed some deep esoteric truths. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Biden old <laughs> and Kamala Harris's uh, pill-headed ant routine is <laughs> yeah. actually not winning people over. It'd be funny if he was the guy who leaked Drake's dick. I heard about that. I didn't see it. Uh, I didn't see it. But Drake's dick is either. out there, huh? It's apparently, well, yeah. That's, ex- that's exciting. He did say that he wasn't hiding his dick from the world. He was hiding the world from his dick. Oh, okay. Which is so he leaked it. Yeah. Probably yeah. because there's some uh, 16-year-old out there who he wanted to see it, but he knew he would get in trouble <laughs> if he sent it direct. <laughs> it's my yeah. guess. Yeah, the Greta Thunberg Is, wanted that's, to see uh, it. You know, that, and that, there's, you know, that's an allegation yeah. that I am making. Right. <laughs> Allegedly, <laughs> I, am make, I am making that allegation. <laughs> But allegedly, <laughs> by by me. <laughs> yeah, but I would be su- I wouldn't be surprised if James O'Keefe was pretending to be that alleged sixteen year old. <laughs> <laughs> Again, just him in like makeup, <laughs> and a wig, <laughs> just like on Facetime with Drake. Like I hate my fucking dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with like a twenty one Gex poster behind. Him. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, say what you will about James O'Keefe, yeah. but I really like the medium of like hidden camera. Oh, it's so scoops. funny. Yeah. Like, oh, more yeah. people should be doing that. Yeah. Like wearing disguises. Yeah. Hidden cameras. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dating. <laughs> Dating. <laughs> <laughs> Me swiping right on a hundred guys on Grinder in Washington until you land a guy who's an intern with the DNC. I mean, that honestly probably is the best way. Yes. To infiltrate. You have to go on like a, a thousand grinder dates until you're like, oh, you're you're with the DNC? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. that probably is actually a good way. He probably has like a Chris Hansen team yeah. of like guys who are just chatting with guys on grinder <laughs> in Washington <laughs> yeah. all day. Yeah. He's probably sucking dick every single day to bring us the hard hitting. He hates it. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> It's an <laughs> allegation we're making that James O'Keefe has sucked penis to get his scoop. <laughs> that he's sucking sucking his way to the top allegedly. to get these scoops, allegedly, but actually he hates it. He disgu- <laughs> he, it's disgusting, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. He loathes having to do it, but he's so married to getting the fucking truth out there. Getting the truth. That <laughs> that's Joe like is old. publicly available polling data. <laughs> <laughs> that Joe Biden is old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's awesome. Yeah. yeah, every story like that, he does go out and be like, "Look, I, <coughs> I'm not suicidal. Yeah, <laughs> I, I've had a good life. <laughs> Do yeah. not worry about me." Yeah, and then it's like, yeah, him interviewing some like, literally like a, just a gay guy who works at the DNC. Yeah, and they're like, uh, "Yeah, Hillary comes by sometimes and she orders pizza." And they're like, Jeez. "Hillary, pizza." Hillary is still participating in the cabal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Big scoop. But more people should be doing those like undercover scoop things. Oh, for anything. They're cool. Yeah. Yeah. I pretended to be a Uber Eats driver and went to Hassan Piker's house and walked in on him in the shower. Scoop. Scoop. Hashtag leftist. <laughs> <Yeah>. Hashtag scoop. <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> Nude photos of Hassan Piker <laughs> leak. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nude photos of destiny leak. Yeah. <coughs> well, man, because I like followed that like Vosh thing about his goblin porn a little bit. Yeah. My YouTube is just like overwhelmed with videos. Ugh. Like of and about those guys, it sucks. And their little like network of like one of them will fuck up or whatever. Then like a thousand people will make a video response. Yeah, and it's, it's really sucks. awful. It sucks. Like, <clears throat> and as far as I can tell, they're all leftists. Like they're just arguing with each other. Yeah, they're not even addressing. Like, well, those those ones are. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a separate little wing with your Ben Shapiro's and stuff. Yeah, but. There's definitely is like a leftist like hive of YouTube drama people. Yeah. That um best to avoid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get into that. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to get into that. I feel like it's probably good for hits and stuff. Oh, sure, but, but um, it's a nightmare. Yeah, it's awful. It's so gay. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, if you're a politically inclined guy, read Harassment Architecture. <laughs> What's that? It's a good book by um Mike Ma. It's a cool title. It's a it's a sick book. I can lend it to you if you want, but it, it's like uh Isn't he like a workout like PUA guy? No. I'm thinking of someone else maybe. Probably. He's a uh, he's It's about de- how to harass women online. That might be him. <laughs> <laughs> he's deeply misogynistic. Well, is, is that the harassment architecture, the architecture of harassing women on the internet? Um no. It's more referring to the the architecture of the system you live in that harasses you constantly. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I see. You, know, you live in a system of harassment architecture. Well. Yes. Dead. <laughs> real. <laughs> real. Real. So real. Yeah. But it's a great book. It's like all about, just, it's mostly him like, it's a, it gets a little like edgy at points. Mm-hmm. Where, you know, it's a little bit like, I like Columbine. Mm-hmm. It's cool. It type shit. Sure. But um, a lot of it is just good. Well, Columbine was cool. Kind Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, you know, saying like pro- Columbine or whatever. Yeah. But um, I mean, part of the reason it started like a big trend <laughs> is because like the images that came out of it were like cool. They were cool. You know. Anytime there's security yeah. footage of a guy with a gun, it just it is cool. Yeah. It yeah, just I mean, it, it just had these like kind of iconic, cool images. Yeah. Well, that's not saying it was a good thing. No, but but it yeah. was like I think there's a reason why it was kind of like the first one of this that type of thing. Yeah. I, I, well, and all the other ones just haven't you know? been as. Yeah, impression and like the fact they had like a doom level built of their s- or quake, yeah, or whatever like of the yeah, school, yeah, yeah, 
And all the all the shooters these days are slack or losers. They are gay dorks. Yeah, they're yeah. not they're not building custom Doom levels. <laughs> they're not getting shirt screen printed. <laughs> they're not making cool tapes of them just. They're practicing not wearing cool backwards hats. And trench coats. <laughs> <laughs> they they like set the uniform. Yeah. They set the like standard. But the of, new like, ones have no sense of the aesthetic. Also, the new ones are like ugly guys. Like those Dylan and, and Eric were like pretty normal looking dudes. That at least on camera, like they look cool. Yes. Like objectively. Yes. You know. If you didn't know what they did and you just saw them, you'd be like, oh, cool. What is yeah. this from a skate video? Yeah. Who are these cool guys? What are these? What are these guys playing skate for a palace commercial? Yeah. You know. But like. The new shooters, they're all like, they're, they're like facial physiognomy is like fucked up. Yeah, they're just dumpy weirdos. They're like big forehead, small eyes guys. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, do you ever see uh, Dylan Roof? Uh, is he bowl cut? Yeah. Yeah, he looks stupid it's as fuck. Like, oh my god, dude. Or, oh, there's some guy, the guy who shot up that school that spawned all those like hyper annoying Zoomer political activists in Florida. Oh, was that Sandy Hook? No, well, that guy also looked fucking stupid. Or um, the one, it's like all those, ki- like David Hall yeah, and yeah, all those yeah. kids were from Par- Parkland. Parkland, yeah. Yeah, that kid was fucking weird looking. Yeah, Weird little rat guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you ever see, he had, um, I forget if it was Jim Can't Swim or like one of those type of true crime videos. Yeah. But they got <clears throat> his like interrogation footage. You ever see that? No. It's all him like trying to pretend that he's like schizophrenic but doing a really bad oh job of it. I feel like I might have seen that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like the intellect ego thing. Yeah. But like, I, I can pull this off. I can pull this off for sure. I'm a genius. And it just totally fucking yeah. flops. Yeah. Yeah, none of the guys have been like... Honestly, the coolest shooter we've had in a while was the guy who went to our city hall. Yeah. Just because he was cool. He said... He called everyone brothers. He said he had a mission. Yeah. (laughs) He didn't even really do anything. He didn't do anything bad. Free my man. Uh, Yes. (laughs) Yeah. You should be allowed. Free my man, Abdul Yusuf. (laughs) You should be allowed to go to City Hall and be like, all right, who's going to deal with me? (laughs) Who's going to fucking help me? All right? (laughs) Who's going to deal with my part? Who's going to cut this in dang woke inflation? (laughs) I like that. I like woke inflation. It's a new term. (laughs) I've just. It's a new term that I've just copywritten. I just like that attitude. (laughs) Woke (laughs) inflation. <laughs> somebody, somebody, send Pierre Polyev an urgent message about woke inflation for the campaign. Pierre, <laughs> we're your best friend. We love you, Pierre. We thought of a new term for you, woke inflation. Pierre, we're over here working for free. Please, <laughs> you need to be hammering Justin Trudeau on all this woke inflation. I love guys like that who are like they see the like one po- like political pundit that they're like, yeah, dude, you have to listen to me. You have to. I figured it out. <laughs> You have to start saying woke flation. <laughs> you have to call him Trudeau gotta go. <laughs> I got it. I've seen like four seasons of Mad Men. I know how branding works. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> like what a... But um, I just like that attitude of, of yeah, Abdul Yusuf of like being so... Pit- that's he... That my man experienced harassment architecture. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? It, it, the book is just all about how, like, the systems in which you live are, like, um, evil and, like, uh, are out to make your life bad. Oh. And so, like, Mike Ma talks about, like... Sounds like a crazy conspiracy theory. Yeah, sounds like... <laughs> it sounds like um, fringe fringe Fring- extremist group. Yeah. <laughs> fringe extremism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the thesis of the book is, like... Uh, credit scores are gay. You should get like sunlight and lift weights. Oh, is he a sun your asshole type guy? He's a sun guy. Yeah, he's a like raw cool. food, sunning, drink like wine and like work out. I'm so susceptible to that kind of shit. Well, because it's <laughs> literally good. Like it <laughs> is just good. I mean, that probably. But even even like the the shit like seed oils is the one where people online have genuinely convinced me that they're oh, bad, and yeah. I have no clue <laughs> if it's true or no not. No clue, but I'm willing to try it. <laughs> but just so many people have said it online that I'm like, oh, I guess they're bad. I believe it. Yeah. 100% I believe it. Yeah, but yeah. like the, I like that attitude of like going to City Hall and being like, look, I'm pissed the fuck I'm off. I don't want to kill anyone, off. but like who's going to deal with my issues? I, I like the term harassment architecture. It's sick. It's That's a good cool. book. You should yeah. read it. It's it's a cool book, and you guys out there, you should read it too. And Mike Ma, you should come sit on the exercise ball. We would love to have you, Mike. Yeah. Red pill you on, or you can red pill us. You can on, red pill uh, us. We'll red pill you. We'll, talk, <laughs> we'll red pill you on uh, how we're gonna get Shenmue Five. 
<laughs> yeah, okay, actually, yeah, red pill me on the Shenmue situation. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't even really know anything about Shenmue. I know that, like, two of them came out in, like, the early 2000s. Yeah. And, like, a My understanding <laughs> is it's like a, it, it's like a life sim game where you have to, like, drive a forklift and stuff. Am, am I so wrong in that? There is a story, and it, it's kind of, uh, mm. like, the, the, you play a guy who's, like, dad got killed by, like, a karate master, and so the game is, like, you trying to... It's, I do like how it's kind of based because it's like the game is like okay it's like a revenge story against this like guy who killed your dad but to get there you have to like um, it's just like the most uneventful st- uh, like rising action in a story oh, okay. instead of being like I'm going to train it's like uh, you have to like earn enough money to get a ticket to China to go fight that guy so yeah you have to work at like a warehouse <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, that's, that's cool I think it's cool are and you going to start <laughs> playing it on your switch and hitting your your weed pen <laughs> <laughs> while, while your son cries in the <laughs> next room <laughs> I'm going to be a Shenmue weed dad <laughs> I'm gonna be shut the hell up so yeah so there's like two of them came out in like the early 2000s and people really liked them but they they were also like really expensive to make at the time, because yeah, the guy simulated like. I I think all it is really like Shenmue is just like outsider art in video games, because the guy like didn't. Was it like one guy did it? That kind of. It's thing? like his vision. Yeah, he worked at Sega, but they made like, dumb little like arcade A games. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, of course. <laughs> and then he they the, the Sega like cleared him to make. Shenmue 3 like a couple years ago Mm -hmm. and and, in all the interviews leading up he was like I don't play video games I don't really keep up with what's going on (laughs) (laughs) and then then Shenmue 3 apparently like sucks but yeah then I found the like Shenmue Shenmue like QAnon community yeah where the guys are like uh, I was just scrolling through like the video titles and watching like a couple seconds and it's all it it is like schizophrenic guys being like Sega hates us Shenmue fans (laughs) Here are the conditions that have to be met for Shenmue 5 to come out. Wait, so are we already on Shenmue 5? No. No. Oh, so as far 4 as hasn't come out yet. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's why it's like queuing on shit. It's like so that's one of the conditions that will need to be met. <laughs> Just be reading between the lines. We're going to have to make Shenmue 4 first. Yeah, and it's like... Yeah, everyone... Ha- I think everyone hated Shenmue 3 because it like... Everyone, they had to they, like it was there was a twenty year gap between like Shenmue. I, mean, two I think and those kind of. I think part of the problem is that gamers are just as a whole, kind of a miserable bunch. Yes. Um, so yes. they're very prone to bitching and moaning, especially the like guys who choose to play Japanese games over. Yeah. Like and COD guys are, they hate it and they're like, yeah, this game fucking sucks and I'll play it all day. Yeah, but I feel like all of those ones where it's like, oh, you've been waiting for this for 30 years. That's mm-hmm. why why Valve can never make Half-Life 3. They can never do it. Because, like, no matter how fine it might be, yeah, yeah. like, people have it so hyped up in their <clears> heads <throat> that it's bound to disappoint. You know? It's also the smart move to just not do it. Well, they, they've laid a, the golden goose. Yeah. And they don't need to do shit. Yeah, they have steam. Yeah. They make 30% of all PC game sales. I, I think they're, I don't know if they still are, but like a couple of years ago, they're the most like profitable per employee company in America. Oh, for sure. Yeah. They w- why would you ever <laughs> make Five Life 3? Actually, why would you ever do that? <clears throat> the behind the scenes stuff at Steam that you hear about is always really funny. Because apparently, like, I think Gabe is some sort of like weirdo, like libertarian type guy. Right. But it's so like at, at, Valve, there's no like managers or bosses. Everyone's like equal and can just kind of work on whatever they want. But like the, uh, you can get kind of like voted off the island though if everybody <laughs> hates you. <laughs> that rules. <And> <coughs> <coughs> That's how we run this show with Kenneth and, and Terrence, <laughs> yeah. our producers. They they rotate. We fired <laughs> Kenneth a bunch of times. Yeah, we fire them. They come back and nothing we can really do about it. <laughs> they come back. They prove us wrong for a little bit, and then. Yeah. Uh, but every now and again, somebody will get like booted out of Valve and be all pissed off. Yeah. Well, um, should have done better. Yeah. That's why they don't do anything and they make a shitload of money. Yeah. It's genius. Genius. That is smart. Yeah. Oh, I <coughs> I love Gabe. Yeah. I've said it many times on the sh- on Gabe the show. Rules. But Gabe rules. Yeah. I love his phenotype of like big, big, gentle, uh, like he's like Sully from Monsters, Inc. And, you know, he's like um, um Trying to think of a good example. He's he's like um, Atlas holding <laughs> up the sun. You know, the entirety of the PC game. <laughs> when his heart explodes, and Shill Gates 
scoops in and buys Steam. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> makes it so you can't log on to your game until you take your daily <laughs> estrogen <laughs> shots. Yeah. Your estrogen vaccine. Yeah. Well, then people will realize what we had in Gabe. Yeah. You don't know what you got till it's gone. And a big fat guy. Hold it, holding the PC gaming <laughs> ecosystem on his back. A big fat libertarian <laughs> gamer. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't know it. you have a gay effeminate <laughs> the hero, software guy now. The hero we need. <laughs> you have a gay vaccine pumping software freak now who's 109 years old. Yeah. When you used to have a big fat libertarian <laughs> PC gamer. <laughs> libertarian PC gamer magazine. <laughs> Person of the month. 55 75 months in a row Gabe Newell, <laughs> Gabe Newell. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah he re- yeah I feel like yeah you're right gamers are kind of a miserable bunch Yeah cuz you just can't I mean, there's just so much bitching and moaning and well, stuff I think part of the issue is like uh that like a lot of people use games cuz their lives are bad Yes and so they're like I can live in this and then when the game doesn't do the things they want to simulate a better life, yeah, exactly how they want it, they're mad. Well, <laughs> and like I'm, a, I'm a gamer, you Same. know. Oh, so I'm not, sh- I'm not speaking totally out of turn here. We can say it because we are them. I think the thing is, we have a G pass. It, it's like when you sit and play games for sixteen hours a, in a row in a day, yeah. which I've done. Oh, me too. You feel like shit. Horrible. So it's a weird type of thing that like it's something you want, but it's gonna make you feel bad. Yeah. Yes. You know, which yes. might be a factor. A hundred percent. Because it's like the Steam reviews where you see people with six thousand hours in a game being like, "It's shit. It sucks." <laughs> it's like, it's like, well. That's a problem on your end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you shouldn't have put six thousand hours into yeah. it then if it's so bad. Yeah. Well, also like, it, it, it it's just like it, with the scope that like video games are, re- and I don't know fuck all about like development of a game, but from what I can tell kind of all video game development is like there's no formula every time like you're kind of when you want to do like Grand Theft Auto 5 you're like treading on ground that like m- just because of the fact that like studios don't share their processes you're constantly treading on unknown ground and so that leads to like problems in the end when you're trying to like tie it, tie it all up together Yeah. and I, th- I think a lot of people just are like I want this to be my life mm-hmm. and I can get pussy here and you fucked this up for me. You fucked this up. You <sighs> ruined this for me. I was gonna be getting P in GTA <laughs> Online. I was gonna be getting <coughs> Space P. Yeah. And you guys ruined my life. Yeah. And it's like, well. But they do seem well. Actually, I, maybe that's just people in general. Because I mean, people bitch and moan about movies and all kinds of shit too. I think people just yeah, like you shouldn't have that. Like you shouldn't be putting all your eggs in the basket of like something that's outside of your control. Yeah, and if like you know, if you don't like a game. Don't play it. Don't play it all day. Just <laughs> play one you do like. <laughs> yeah. Play a game you like. Because there's already more games out there than one could ever play. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And all the good ones are from Japan and simulate uh, sex. <laughs> 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 yeah, have you tried playing hentai games? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one fan base where they love it. No complaining over there. They're like, great game, Mitsuyoshi. <laughs> Excellent work, sir. <laughs> Yet again, Mitsuyoshi <laughs> hits it out of the park. <laughs> Another Child <laughs> Rape Factory, 9,000. <laughs> <laughs> Another 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, you got all the Western gamers complaining that all the female characters are ugly. <laughs> they're bitching. They're crying. <laughs> they're seething. They're, they're seething. They're writing. <laughs> they're p- making video essays about how Lara Croft is busted <laughs> yeah i saw i saw the like art for lara croft and i was like all right and then immediately Time for a video essay all the comments are like she looks trans <laughs> it's like, Dude, yeah on. that's the western gaming market yeah, yeah japan in the japanese gaming market 10 out of 10 mitsuyaki <laughs> <laughs> another perfect game <laughs> another perfect game <laughs> where i play candy crush and then there's videos of hentai <laughs> Another t- ten- t- tentacle hentai. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's just Candy Crush with hentai playing. Yeah, but the background is hentai. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent game, <laughs> sir. <laughs> wow, that's flawless. Another flawless game. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Yeah. That's <laughs> so funny. We need to be more like those guys. Yeah, just look more of the bright side of life. Yeah. Just you know, like that Monty Python song. Yeah. Pause the video. <laughs> look up that Monty <laughs> Python song. Feel inspired. Yeah, yeah. Download RPG Maker. <laughs> <laughs> Realize your dreams. <laughs> Become a millionaire. <laughs> Create the next Wordle. <laughs> <laughs> download, um, download RPG Maker and make another uh, eighty-hour R- party-based, <laughs> turn-based RPG about anxiety. <laughs> is that what Final Fantasy is about? I don't know what it's about. <laughs> you're, you're a, you're a, our listeners might not know. You're a Final Fantasy guy now. Oh. That's what you've been rocking on your Switch. I'm all into it. Yeah, Final Fantasy Seven. Because I was on the road. Shout out Ryan Short, a wonderful wonderful gentleman and he he like talked me into playing final fantasy 7 mm-hmm. and it is delightful it yeah. is my it's as i told you it's my Anne of green gable <laughs> <laughs> it's just delightful i don't really yeah. know what's going on you play the original one hey yeah nice because i was told that that would be it, when i play the remake it's cooler it makes more sense blow your mind even more but I'm not gonna lie; it's not making a lot of sense right now. <laughs> 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 it seems like a lot of Japanese gobbledygook to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was just I'm like, "All right, yeah, cool, man." And it's just like nice music and like fucking talking cats and stuff. And I'm like, "All right, man, cool, sweet." Nice. It's very chill, though. It's very like, uh, yeah. just pl- Zen. I just, well, having like not played an old video game in a long time, <clears throat> I forgot that not everyone used to be. Um, severely brain rotted and required like constant stimulus and so playing a game that's like pace is just kind of generally much slower yeah is very nice it's a side effect of wokeflation <laughs> I'm going to City Hall <laughs> <laughs> these games are too fast now <laughs> <laughs> games are too fast paced <laughs> I can't keep up um how long are we at on this bad ah uh, we got like 10 more minutes oh okay word <laughs> but yeah it's like it's just extremely nice to like I play it before bed. Yeah. And sort of like try to follow along. But I, I like I was texting Ryan today and I was like how does this mm-hmm. work and I'm like pretty deep into the game and he was like oh here's how this shit works and I was like oh that's why I'm like constantly losing. Nice. Yeah, <coughs> cuz uh, they don't they don't really uh, explain a ton to you off the bat. But um basically guys, I'm a Final Fantasy guy now. And, uh, I'm going to start wear, wearing Final Fantasy graphic tees. I'm going to wear the, the <laughs> wig that makes my head look like Cloud's hair. Yeah. Big spiky anime hair. Get a bu- He's a buster sword guy, right? Yes. Get a buster sword. <laughs> <laughs> spiky wig. I'm going to look I'm going to I'm going to get surgery to I'm going to get twinkified. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, get like Goku hair. I don't cuz I like what prompted this whole journey was that I was just I asked him I was like what is Final Fantasy cuz I know there's like 200 of them. Final Fantasy 12? What's going on there? <laughs> what were they hey? thinking? Yeah. <laughs> Final Fantasy 9? Hmm. <laughs> Has anyone thought of that before? <laughs> <laughs> Is that new? I think, I think I just made up that That's joke. dynamite. Yeah. That's dynamite. Yeah. Nobody steal that. It's mine. <laughs> 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 My original comment. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's, I don't really... I still don't really understand what it is, but... but it's it's my Anna Green Gables, man. It's just very nice. Yeah. It's very pleasant. No, I feel that. Yeah. Everyone, sh- that's a key tip to life. You should everyone should have their Anna of Green Gables. Mm. Their thing they read that's just they like it just because it's like pleasant. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. It's very nice. <coughs> it's just sort of. It's like these are like um. It's like the the game version of like a Ozu movie. Does that make sense? Well, um. Yeah. When when did it come out? I think like 1997. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. It's very chill. Yeah. Also, um, I I could tell you were just looking up Final Fantasy porn. Busted. Great community. Great community for the pornographic images. I bet. (laughs) Who's your Who's your Who's your uh, um, Your Your wife? Who? There's a dog. (laughs) (laughs) There's a red dog. (laughs) That's my (laughs) wife. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a sexy dog? No, he's just a dog with oh, like a okay. mohawk. He's your guy? He's my I think he's so <laughs> sick. He's just a cool dog with a mohawk. Does he like talk and stuff? Yeah, yeah, he like speaks like very eloquently. Cool. It's a cool ass dog with a mohawk. Is that like your main character? That's my guy I can I keep with and then there's this big jacked black guy who's with a gun on his hand. Nice. I'm like nice. Cool. But yeah, yeah, um, 
Sounds really cool. <laughs> well, it's it sucks though because every time I look up like a guide mm-hmm. or like a, a guide, there's always like the linked article is like ho- top ten hottest children in. <laughs> 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 it's like, I don't. I just need to know where I'm supposed to go from here, man. Yeah, you gotta cool it with this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hottest children. <laughs> Top 10 hottest dogs in Final Fantasy. Presumably they're all like pixel art in that game. Though. Yeah, they're like, they look like, it's like the lowest polygon thing like you've little, ever seen. Little sprites or whatever. Yeah, they're like little, like they're, they look like Roblox guys. Like, like, for, well, Poke, it'll be right around the same time as like Pokemon Red and stuff. Yes. I assume it's similar. Pretty much. It's, it looks f- unbelievably fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> but yeah, guys on the, when I'm from like looking for a guy, there's always guys that's like, she's so hot. <laughs> it's like a little like block <laughs> guy. It's <laughs> literally a Roblox character. Little cube. <laughs> it's, a little, her, it's her personality. It's Minecraft Jenny. <laughs> 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 yeah. But yeah, it's like, I'm dipping my toes into, into, um, communities I never thought I would. <laughs> 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 Greetings, fellow pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It's like, it is, I, there's nothing really like, I'm not sure what the themes are. I don't really know what the like core message is. I assume that um, but you're just traveling around with your bros, just enjoying myself. Might fight and fights, fighting weird little bugs, casting spells. Oh, S- tons! Smushing bugs, smushing <laughs> big bugs and dragons with big cool. <coughs> well, let's just say that I'm heavy on the bust in the Buster Sword. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those ones that takes like 80 hours to finish, right? I think so. Yeah, I'm not. So that's why it's like nice. Like I just uh, before bed play like forty five minutes. Just play a little bit. Getting some battles. It's cool. Yeah, it's pleasant. My guy died in Zomboid the other day. How long did you have him? It's like almost a month. Damn! How did he die? I got st- I got I got cocky, and me and me was me and Nick's in our in our game. Oh damn! We were burning down chunks of Louisville. Yeah. And we went to City Hall. Yeah. And I was. Uh, I was just kind of kind of bored because we've been doing the like the drive around thing where you start a fire right. and slowly drive an emergency vehicle and get right. a giant burning horde. Mm-hmm. So I just wanted to you know have some intense uh, <coughs> going through hallways blasting with my gun. Yeah. And I went in. I got cocky with the running and I tripped. Oh. And then I got eaten. Damn. Yeah. Damn. And I had ten out of ten carpentry on that guy. Holy shit. Damn. Yeah, that hurts. It does. It's one of those games that's like, <coughs> it's so good, yeah. but it, it really is like, it, whenever you die, you, it ha- you it instills this like feeling of like nihilism that you don't get often in games. Yeah, no, it's like, what's the fucking point? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why am I doing this? Because like I don't know how long a day takes. I think it's probably like an hour. So it's probably I like twenty so. something hours. Yeah, I had just that character, and it's just gone. And it's just gone forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like circling back on like the main point of like gamers being miserable mm-hmm. just find the shit you like don't yeah. like put all your eggs there's, in the basket there's so the many game. games out there I mean I think for me it happened like a long time ago I learned not to get hyped for games yeah when Assassin's Creed came out uh, and I thought it was going to be like Hitman meets Prince of Persia yeah and it was going to be sick yeah, and it was parkour the game yeah, and it was it was climbing up this like a tower mm-hmm. over and over and over again. Yeah, with like and it just it I hated it. Yeah. And ever since then, I just don't get hyped for him. And you if I hear there's one that's cool, I'll be like, maybe I'll check it out. Have you ever met like an Assassin's Creed guy? Like a hardcore Assassin's Creed guy? Yeah. No, I don't think so. They're odd cats, because it's the type of guy who thinks wearing a hood over your head is like ultimate badass. <laughs> <laughs> and it's yeah. extremely strange. Yeah. It's the type of guy who's like. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a hood jacket and with a hood underneath. <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah. I, I remember <clears throat> there's two types of red flag jackets that you'll catch out in public. Mm-hmm. The Mass Effect leather jacket. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. It's e- either on like a very fat guy, <laughs> or extremely skinny guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And the there 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 was like these like long coats that I remember guys would buy in like 2013 <laughs> that had like an Assassin's Creed hood. Mm. Those are red flag <laughs> jackets. <laughs> yeah. Those are more red flags than guys who wore, who would wear those like purple like it, and I've never seen this but like a purple like Joker trench coat or something. I used to know a jo- Joker guy. Right, yeah. He was fucked. He had multiples of those. <laughs> I was always trying to figure out how he, how he could spend hundreds of dollars on better purple trench coats, <laughs> <laughs> despite not having any money. <laughs> but yeah, the Mass Effect leather jacket, gang, mm-hmm. always, always 
Smells funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rule of life. Life lesson. <laughs> Mass Effect guys. Smell bad. <laughs> this is the Chrome Boys lock of the week. <laughs> Mass Effect leather jacket guys always smell funny. <laughs> I remember when I like I used to ride the bus pretty consistently next to this Mass Effect leather jacket guy. Yeah, he smelled really bad. Yeah. Well, not even bad. He just smelled really weird. It smelled weird. <laughs> distinctive. Yeah. Not like good. Distinctive. Bold. <laughs> <laughs> He's putting peanut butter and coffee grounds <laughs> on his neck. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Yeah. This guy smells like the inside of like an oven. Yeah. Strange cat. And also fingerless gloves, guys. <laughs> Well, that could go either way. <laughs> They'll be either the coolest guy you've ever met or a total fucking dork. <laughs> yeah. They'll be sick at hacking. Yeah. <coughs> or, yeah, a total geed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the guy who I used to know who did, like, ACII art was a fingerless glove guy. Okay, that's pretty swag. Yeah, he was, in retrospect, he was cool because he would just sit and he would, like, dr- hand draw... Like, what's it called? ASCI? ASCII art? Yeah. He would hand draw that. That's crazy. With, like, slashes and stuff. That's wild. But he was, like, a <laughs> fingerless glove guy who was, like, kind of weird looking. <laughs> right. With, like, a weird looking girlfriend. And they would, like, sloppily make out <laughs> all the time. He was that pretty rules. fucking cool, yeah, actually. That's unbelievable. At the time, I thought he was a dork. But <laughs> no. now I realize that he was actually cool He was as sick. Fuck. He was the. He was stu- Did he wear soaps? <laughs> wear what? Like, soap shoes? I don't know what those are. Those are those shoes you could grind on. They had like a little plastic insert so you could just, without a skateboard, like grind a rail. Because I feel like fingerless gloves go with soap. I don't think he, he didn't do, he wasn't into physical activities. Uh, He was, he was like a gamer (laughs) hunch, black hoodie, fingerless gloves guy. Damn, nice. (laughs) (laughs) That's who this show's for, by the way. Extremely pale. Nice. Bad skin. Ghostly, vampiric, <laughs> gamer guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a vampiric, yeah. ghostly guy. Sloppily making out with his oh, nice. similar looking <laughs> anime girl <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> they smelled good. <laughs> <laughs> Who weighed twice as much as him, if not more. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I'd love to see a motherfucker. He was, he was honestly swag. He was yeah, cool. It's really <laughs> swag. That's a really swag guy. Yeah. That's so awesome. <laughs> and he had a real uh, vendetta against Fords. What was his car of choice? Dodge. I wouldn't peg him to be a truck guy. Well, he, I just, I remember him all multiple times saying that, like, any time a Ford was present, he'd be like, you know what Ford stands for? Found Fucked up ro- old rusty Dodge. <laughs> I've heard found on road dead. Oh. Fucked up old rusty <laughs> Dodge is crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah. I didn't peg that guy for a truck guy. Yeah. That seemed like a Saab or like Japanese like <laughs> rally car guy. <laughs> like a little like crop Mitsubishi motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a Mitsubishi like Lancer guy. <laughs> like an 04 yeah. Lancer. Maybe, maybe he has that now. <clears throat> I hope so. I hope he's a weed dead now. Yeah. I hope he's a cool weed Play dead. Play an FF7 on his Switch. Well, his son hits his head. <laughs> well, his son bonks his head on the counter really hard. <laughs> he can't hear him over the crackle of his weed pen. <laughs> I can't wait for that to be me. Yeah. Just fucking draining an empty card on my weed pen. Too, too high to get out of your chair as your <laughs> child <laughs> crawls towards the top of the stairs. <laughs> You're like, hey. <laughs> Going nonverbal around my like developing child. Yeah. Just think in your head, please don't fall down the stairs. Please don't fall down the stairs. Please don't fall down he the stairs. He can read my thoughts. He knows. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. <laughs> also, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to, I'm in a hard battle in F7 <laughs> right now. I need you to fucking not put a fork in the electrical outlet. <laughs> Chiefing my weed bed. <laughs> with a fucking, uh, with a, with a cool, um, Deftones shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fingerless glove, Deftones. Yeah. Weed. <laughs> Just <laughs> going hard in your switch. Uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Casting mad spells. <laughs> this baby sc- s- s- screams. <laughs> yeah, my kid's got the, the, the like the the like open thing on his head is just fully dented in <laughs> yeah. yeah your baby with a giant dent in his head is totally <laughs> motionless in the corner <laughs> in a little pile of straw 
<laughs> He's like cooked and smoking <laughs> with a finger in the outlet. <laughs> <laughs> so as Depeche Mode blares through the house. How <laughs> does it feel? <laughs> yeah. uh, <clears throat> God damn, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you want to wrap her up here? Yeah, holy shit. And go over to the page, which will be a social experiment. Right, where you're going to smoke some... You're going to become a weed dad. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Yeah. All right, fellas. Take it easy, boys.